one thing a man will do only if he really likes you. Are you not sure if he's really interested in you, if he's really worth your while, or if he's simply just warming up to you? Then watch this video and you will certainly discover if he's truly interested in you. Hey, I'm Antje Boyd, and if you don't know me already, together with my husband Brody Boyd, we've been helping thousands of successful women all over the world to attract connected and deep long-term relationship that they desire fast. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now in this training, I'm going to do something very special, and I will actually explain a point through my own personal story. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So here is the ultimate thing a man does if he really likes you. Bulletproof, no kidding. Everything actually started with my own personal journey. And we're saying this is about April 2014. So this is now almost 10 years ago. And it starts with an evening where I was just really stressed okay well actually let me back up a little bit more <clears throat> it actually starts with valentine's day of 2014 which is perfect because it's coming up and my husband he had nothing better to do than ask me for my ring size okay so if any men are watching this right now please don't do that you know i told my husband afterwards um by the way um my ring is like on my nightstand so you can just kind of see the size and besides we can resize it and the reason why you want to do this if some men are watching right now is because so we women don't get so anxious and we don't get so anticipatory and we have we don't have our girlfriends drive us nuts like when the man is going to propose to us now this was in valentine's day now, two months later, two months later, about two months later, um, on a Friday night, I found myself being extremely stressed. Okay, so back then, um, after studying psychology at UC Berkeley, I decided to take some business classes at a college to just improve also sort of my entrepreneurial skills as well. By the way, now looking back, <laughs> I didn't really need to do that because I learned so much more actually doing this business myself rather than studying it, right? But it's a whole different story. But anyways, I think I had some sort of final or something the next day. So it's Friday night and I was just blowing up at Brody. I mean, I was just so upset. I was really stressed. It was a class that I didn't really, I forgot what the class was, something of programming or something, I think. Um, something that's absolutely not my forte whatsoever. <laughs> and, um, and back then I had sort of this, habit look we all have habits unfortunately my habit was that i would go to blaming right if i wouldn't feel good enough if i would feel like i'm i'm not gonna succeed i would go into blaming and unfortunately i was projecting the blame onto the person who was right in front of me now unfortunately that was my husband so but you know what was even more interesting is so we get back to okay well Antje, what does this have to do with that one thing a man does when he really likes you okay listen uh listen to the end here so i was like the biggest biatch on the planet and honestly you know i had a conversation with my girlfriend that night or the next morning i don't remember and i said you know what he's not gonna propose to me anytime soon now because i think i i may have changed his mind right so after <clears throat> after my final or whatever it was midterm whatever i had, uh, took there um i actually met my husband back then in san francisco and we just went on a little stroll um, along sort of the beach in San Francisco. And then he asked me, um, you know, if I want to go to dinner, right? We, we were always doing that. We were going to dinner somewhere. And he knows I like Thai. So we found this lovely Thai place. And um, at the end of that dinner, he said, well, you know, can I ask you a question? And I said, great. So now he's going to actually ask me um, if he can split the bill right 
because now he's going to just start to distance himself and it's going to be the beginning of the end. You know, we women have those like stories inside of our head how something is going to go and we don't have the room to be all of ourselves and we don't have the room to have a bad day and it will immediately change the man, right? And that of course leads us to like walking on eggshells and horrible, horrible, right? Now, lucky for me, this was actually not why my husband said he wants to, if he can talk to me about something and so I said sure and so then the next moment uh, wouldn't you know it he found himself on one knee opening up a ring box and asking me if I want to be his wife and I looked at him like a deer in headlights and you know why because I, I felt like a ghost I was leaving my body I was so in shock I went I think I went into freeze response and, and because I this was this was so unexpected because I had the story. He's not going to propose, at least not anytime soon. And then he's proposing the next day. Right. So again, so wait a minute. The sense of the reality that I thought I was living in was not the reality that showed up. And so because of that, I went, I went into temporary numbing because my system literally didn't know how to orient myself. I was in absolute shock. Right? And of course... Uh, shortly after I said of course I said yes and uh, you know what it was so quiet like the restaurant nobody in the restaurant even noticed that my husband had proposed to me because I wasn't like jumping out of my chair I was like yes yes instead I was I must have like yeah just like not like really showed much and you know the funny part is here we are sometimes even visualizing how we want our proposal to go and how we're jumping up and down and how we're throwing our arms around the man and we're like so happy and the whole restaurant stands up in an applause and <laughs> none of that was true for me and then after we left the restaurant I, I asked my husband I said why did you still like proposed to me you know and he said well I already decided that like months ago so just because you have like a a night where you're a little stressed and yes and maybe not so kind to me and maybe said something that was slightly emasculating like it doesn't mean that I'm completely changing my mind right and so that's what I want to leave you with here is that the man will propose to you like he will ask you for commitment no matter if you're like the biggest biotcha on the planet the night before or if you have a stressful day or if you have a busy schedule or whatever the case may be. So don't let other men talk you into like, you know, like, well, you know, once you did this, then I changed my mind. You know, once you did this and I've saw this once in in like a, um, a dating reality TV show. I, I want to say it was Married at First Sight and where... The man said, well, you know, she was like a totally different person and she kind of flipped out on me and I changed my mind. And I'm like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like, how was she like throughout, right? Don't just like put this like on one that this means like this is who she is. And one thing that my husband said, and I will share about this in a later story again, is he asked himself, is this on here every day? Or is that her at her worst? And if it's her at her worst, I mean, we're all of our worst days. It happens. It's all depending on how we recover from that. So by now, you may have noticed, okay, you know, maybe all the excuses that my man has given me and the reasons, right? There's the saying, you have either reasons or you have results. And, you know, the reasons that my man have given me are actually not really um, valid. And, you know, if they really like me, they would have like still continued to commit to me. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Next, if you haven't yet, take my free love quiz and virtual coaching call by simply hopping over to getlovequiz.com to get the deep, connected, loving, long-term relationship that you desire fast without trust issues, frustration, and also wasting your time with attracting emotionally unavailable men. Now, you can also click on that link right here below in the comment or description section as well. I hope you enjoyed the story. I would love to hear your feedback on this. What has been unexpected for you, maybe in your dating life? Let's talk about it. Lots of love and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.